Pokemon Legends Arceus is finally upon us and has been met with a hell of a lot of praise but also some controversy. The controversy I would acknowledge straight away in this review and that is yes the game does look dated and fortunately um, I don't think it's due to the Switch's technical capabilities because if you look at Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey, Luigi's Mansion 3, the Nintendo Switch is capable of some beautiful looking graphics. I think it's just a... Uh, I don't know, for, the, for use of a better word, fault. It's a fault on Game Freak's part. This is a new direction for them, a much better direction. But I think if this game gets a sequel, I think they need to work on the the graphical capabilities. I mean, Breath of the Wild was a launch game. Breath of the Wild launched on the Wii U and is just runs phenomenally and looks phenomenal. And uh, that's the only areas really where RCS falls short, um, big style. Uh, is Apart from that, is RCS a perfect game? Oh, absolutely not. There's going to be some things that people like about the game. There's going to be a lot of things people don't like about the game. That's just the way things are. However, that's pretty much my only negative gripe with uh, Pokemon RCS is that the uh, the frame rates drop a little, uh, the view distance isn't very great, and the textures and some of the graphics fall short in a lot of places. However, a lot of the Pokemon models and character models do look really good, and some of the animations done by your character, like if it's raining, your, your character will wipe rain off themselves and all that kind of stuff. So little touches like that are pretty neat. Um, but yeah, graphics and the technical capability are where this game does fall short. Now that the negative is out of the way, let's get on to everything that I liked about the game. Now, of course, with all of my reviews, I am not a professional reviewer, I'm not a game journalist, I'm not a I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I am just a gamer that has a channel where I give you my opinion. So this is if you want if you had a friend who wanted to know what the game's like, this is kind of like what my reviews are. So uh, straight off the bat the open world setting of this game is great. There are five open worlds, uh, pr pretty large for the most part. They're pretty good. Think Monster Hunter. So you have a you have a main hub area, and then you go out into the worlds. Uh, you choose which one you want to go to, and there you go. You can you know you can just go to them. There's day and night cycles. Each one has a couple of camps um, that you'll unlock as you progress through the story. So you can sleep, and you can sleep for a little bit. You can sleep until morning. Uh, you know, you can sleep until noon, dusk, night, so that's pretty cool, as you can change it. There's also dynamic weather, so with rain and snow and etc. And of course, different Pokemon come out at different times and different weather settings, so that's pretty cool. This game rewards exploration big style. There's a lot of emphasis on exploration. Uh, there's always things to find. There's always um, materials to find, because you can craft in this game, which again is really cool uh, uh, addition. And uh, you, you just use your Pokemon for that and it's just as simple as selecting your Pokemon that you want to uh, use on a tree that has berries on it or rock formations that need to be destroyed. Sometimes the trees will move and the rocks will move and once destroyed you'll get the materials and a Pokemon will hop out that you can fight and or capture so it's entirely up to you. Uh, you're not limited so you could go out into a field full of uh, I don't know full of Pikachu and see like 20 of them and just wang 20 Pokeballs straight away. You, it's not a one at a time kind of deal, which is amazing. It gives you a lot of freedom. You can sneak through the grass, you can dodge and roll. Um, the more Each Pokemon has challenges, so catch X amount of them, catch X amount of them without being seen, battle X amount of them, uh, use specific moves. You know, there's all these things that you need to do to complete the first ever Pokedex for this Hisui region. Uh, there are the Diamonds and Pearl Clans, which are each other's throats, and the story does have some pretty cool characters. And the story isn't game-breaking, but then Pokemon games are intended for children, so I wasn't really expecting Shakespeare. Um, so that's pretty cool. And one of the biggest, biggest things in this game, which is what I wanted for Sword and Shield uh, and for the Diamond and Pearl remakes, is side quests. There are a ton of side quests in this game. And that they range from fetch quests... Uh, to showing people Pokemon, to getting people Pokemon, um, collecting materials, uh, sorting out uh, troublesome Pokemon. Um, there's uh, even a, a mysterious little girl that asks you to find all these purple flames that are spread out across the maps as well. So I haven't quite finished that one yet, so I don't know where that one leads. Um, 
but that's really, really cool. And you can also, uh, in terms of multiplayer, there's no online battling, and you can only trade with people who has your friend code. So you can only trade with friends. You cannot trade with random people, so far as I've found out. Uh, but one cool multiplayer addition I do like in this game is that you f if players get knocked out in the world and providing you're connected to the internet, they will drop their satchel. And you can go and fight. The satchels will pop up on your map, and you can go and find these satchels, and then pick them up, send them back to the uh, to the player, and you'll get some points, and you use those points to buy special items that can be used to evolve Pokemon, i.e. like Thunderstone, Firestone, and all other manner of things like that. So I do like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, Pokemon animations, and especially in the battles, the battles are the best they've ever been. Whilst your Pokemon is battling, you can run around and get different angles on the, you know, on the fighting, which is pretty cool. The attacks look really good, and the Pokemon's attacks do seem to connect most of the time. When it's like tackle or quick attack or, you know, rock smash or, or some kind of physical attack, it looks so much better. And this time around, when a Pokemon is ready to evolve, it will just tell you it can evolve. So you can now choose to go into the menu and then press X on said Pokemon to evolve the Pokemon, which I think is pretty cool. Um... Like I said before, uh, alongside with the side quests and the Pokemon challenges, there's plenty to keep you occupied. There's also mini games which involve you having to destroy certain uh, amounts of balloons and whatnot in a time limit. Uh, you can grow crops and you can give the farmers, like, it's like one Pokemon per field and you can upgrade that field. Uh, so you can have four fields and then you can grow crops. So it's, it, it's, it's a very bare basic farming mechanic but it's there and the village uh jubilee um of the jubilee village will grow as the game progresses you'll see buildings being built and then as you get towards the end of the game you'll see the entire row of buildings get built uh, that was a pretty cool um you know that that was a pretty cool little little feature that i thought was uh, nifty another very high positive is that it has very fast loading screens the loading screens are next to nothing to be honest which is a good thing then again it's not um it's not it's not really going anywhere with like say graphics and stuff so that's probably why it loads so fast now the game doesn't look dreadful it's playable it's it is it's, it's okay it's definitely passable um but once you get into the swing of the game just running around exploring the area finding secrets catching pokemon battling pokemon leveling up your your said pokemon you want to use it's pretty cool i can't tell you how excited i got to finally see a paris and a parasect out there in the wild i was like oh my god look that's paris i mean uh I, obviously i i i'm 34 this year so i've been playing pokemon since the beginning so that you know Paris kind of disappeared for me in more of the modern games, and I was glad to see him come back, so that was pretty cool. And a awesome feature is space-time distortions. These, like, massive bubbles that will appear, which will create uh, very powerful Pokémon within, and rare Pokémon, and also, it will also create... Um, like uh, like very high uh, rare items as well. So that again, they are pretty cool. Now, overall, I have been enjoying Pokemon Legends Arceus. There's still so much more that I have to do with the game, and I want to do with the game. Uh, it it's taken what nearly to do the main story. I have been doing a little little a lot of side stuff. So I'd say the main story is only about 15 hours ish long if you just plow on with it. However, the game encourages and rewards exploration, so you have to be a certain rank in order to go to the new areas. Um so you you're going to have to you're going to have to do what the game wants you to do and that is um research Pokémon, catch Pokémon, battle Pokémon which is the aim of Pokemon in general. So if that's not your thing, then this game really isn't for you, and Pokemon probably isn't for you. There are no gyms, and that's a good thing. It's it's just... It's, a, it's one of the best Pokemon games we've had in a very long time. And I've always liked Pokemon. I've played Sword and Shield. I like Sword and Shield. I maxed out the Pokedex on it. I play it with my other half. You know, we, we did that. We did all the DLC. Um, we've both got the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, which we're currently playing through, and we're enjoying that because we're old school Pokemon players. But Pokemon Legends Arceus is a nice return to something fresh and something new and I think it's, it's going in the right direction and it's definitely worth picking up especially if you're a Pokemon fan um, it's like Breath of the Wild but not but, but just adjust those expectations it's not as good as Breath of the Wild 
um, in terms of what Breath of the Wild did for the Legend of Zelda franchise. Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus is definitely doing that with the Pokemon one, just not in such a large stride, because they still have a lot of work to do. And if there's DLC coming out, which adds in new zones and new Pokemon and all that, I will welcome it. That will be awesome, as long as it's not stupidly overpriced. But let's be honest, it's Nintendo, so it's going to be. But overall, Pokemon Legends RCS from me gets a very positive 7 out of 10. I, can't, I want to give it an 8, but I have to be honest. The, the, graphi the graphical and technical... Um, limitations of this game do do falter it in places now i'm a very forgiving person so i can overlook that but a lot of people aren't and a lot of gamers these days unfortunately are driven by graphics that's just their bag that's the way they roll that's perfectly fine um but yeah it's a very positive 7 out of 10 and it is a very good game and one of the best pokemon games out there but Play it for yourself or check out more videos from other people and just see, see what you think. Make up your own decision. But thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you in the next one. With the aid of your Pokemon, your research will take you to greater areas of the region.